took to the riverfront this evening to celebrate the U.S.'s independence with music, fun, and food. Oh yeah, NBC Local 33's Anam Siddiqui has more on the sights and sounds. Before the fireworks, it's all about... My favorite thing is coming out here and just celebrating. A snowball. You got a snowball? Yeah. It is nice to be able to see everybody outside. Dozens of people in Baton Rouge took to the riverfront on Independence Day. This is my first time in Louisiana and my first time in Baton Rouge, of course, and everything is beautiful. I'm looking right now over the water. It's uh, better than the pictures I've seen. It's hot, but I'm, I'm just glad to be back. Some local business owners say they have been anticipating returning to the river post pandemic. I'm glad to be back now. It's been a challenge, so um, of course, all of the markets stopped. Mid city, local pop up, everybody just stopped and it hurt bad. It's a family business, me, my wife, my daughters, and we started this business and it's been great. We just thank God for it. Andre Morrison started his snowball stand business less than a year ago. He says he's happy to be able to do what he loves with some normalcy. You know, we look forward to serving the community and, and being out here on the 4th of July just having a good time. The celebration continued with some fun under the sun. I'm real happy that we out of school. Happy 4th of July! Anam Siddiqui, NBC Local 33 News.